okay, <clears throat> you know, I swear, boy, I, this is good old-fashioned American capitalism here. And, and what fear does and how fear is, is good for capitalism, you know. Um, you know, this isn't something against capitalism now, um, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, the other ways, well, you've seen how they worked, and they don't work too well. So, um, you know, I'm not a anti-capitalist type, you know. Uh, however, I do agree on some controls on, uh, you know, what people do. Uh, I've had that in uh, my You Didn't Build That videos. Uh, hit on that. Um, bulletproof book bags, people. Yeah, that sounds so good, you know. Bulletproof book bags, but yet... You have to have a license and everything to get body armor for yourself as an adult. But they want to sell bulletproof book bags for kids. Anybody seeing a lack of common sense in that? Also, and again, I'm not making a joke about the kids being killed. I'm not, you know, trying to minimize the emotional damage and psychological damage of that shooting. But I just want to ask this. How many of those kids were wearing book bags when they were shot? Okay. And who's to say you'll get shot exactly where you're wearing your book bag at? You know, there's head, chest, legs, everything. You know, and on a child, it could possibly take the leg off. Hell, even on an adult. And so this is what I'm talking about, people, in this country, about fear. And, and and not have a control of it and allowing your views and opinions to be manipulated, you know, or, or to not manipulate it, but hell, just to have your views given to you by those who generate fear. And I got nothing against this company. Again, like I said, good old fashioned American capitalism. You know, I got nothing against the company. You know, it's a good idea. But, you know, it's just this this uh this this need to, you know, the, the fear is what I'm talking about that pushes people to do it. And, I mean, these things should have been out a long time ago then. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't ever remember hearing about bulletproof backpacks until now. You know, just like after 9-11, uh, you had that one company with the, uh, uh, I, I think it was on Fahrenheit 9-11, where you had the, the, the guy with the parachute, and he's trying to demonstrate with his daughter, and she was having trouble putting it on and, and all that. You know, it, it was just, you know, ideas, everybody's, you know, coming up with their thing, you know, nothing against that. But I'm just saying, with that, you know, it's just book bags there. That's money out of your check. You know, you buy them, it makes you feel better. Same way people buy weapons. Gives them a sense of security. Not that they're going to run and try to buy every single one of them and carry all of them at the same time, but it's a sense of security. But it's the fear we got to get a hold of. You know, control over our fears, you know, this this. You know, mass hysterias with things. You know, we can't do it. We can't afford to do it anymore, people. And uh, that's just my take on that. You know, it's, it's time, you know, the fear year is over. It's over. You know, we really have to start looking at things objectively. And just looking at it, you know, with just a little bit of objectivity, you will start to see little things that just don't make sense anymore. You know, and that's all a part of the awakening thing. You know, it's just seeing the truth behind the facade. You know, it will become a lot easier to do so because they will become more, you know, the lies will become more blatant as time goes on. And uh, we need to all have our emotions in check and be balanced, okay, through diet, whatever, you know, balanced. Or people's sanity is going to fail them, you know, in a worse way. 